Hello, everybody. I turned Google Maps into a game of Jeopardy, and I'm going to force you two to play it. Heck yeah. Nice. Our contestants are T Comfy and Jude. I want to rock, paper, scissors for it. All right, bet. All right. There are two things in this world that I know, and it is fine dining and breathing. Fine dining for the one, the big one hundo. All right. So fine dining, I'm going to show you a review that has been left on a fast food restaurant, and you have to guess what the restaurant is. Oh, uh, this is going to be easy money. Do go or don't go. Oh, man. <laughs> To go or don't go three months ago and four months ago. A lot changed in one month. A lot sure did. Fine dining is like a fairly upscale restaurant or can it be anything? No, these are all fast food restaurants. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Burger King. It's got to be Burger King. Did you buzz in? No, you didn't. Oh, there I you did, did now. It was in fact yeah! Burger King. Dang it. <laughs> that is the only fast food restaurant I know whose management could go so downhill in one month. So you're already with $100. Go ahead and pick the next Next tile. Uh, fine dining for two. Uh, <laughs> two hundo. Keeping the variety up here. You're going to win so many V-Bucks. Double cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Three stars. This person's a local guide, by the way. Jude, what is your answer? Wendy's. Nope. <laughs> Darn. Uh, my answer is McDonald's. My second choice. <laughs> it's McDonald's. Dang it. I should have gone with my gut. Yeah. I have negative $200, just like real life. Home of the most mid cheeseburgers known to God and or man. Exactly three stars. That is correct. Go ahead and pick your next tile. Fine dining for three. Not so good. The silverware had a lot of dried food on it. They literally took their time to get me a clean one. Um, Kovic monkey pots. It's not my fault. No <laughs> Communication. I got teary eyed. I'm not going back there. Silverware? Jude, what is your answer? Applebee's. That's fast food. Don't at me. No, it's not Applebee's. Well, it should have been. My dining is not this fine. <laughs> All right. Well, this was um, <laughs> an IHOP. IHOP. Ew. Yeah, they got the Kovic monkey pots. <laughs> my two favorite um, diseases. Tea Comfy, pick your next tile. I'm scared now. Uh, the American Dream is dead, so let's see what $100 will get me. In the American Dream category, you're going to see a closed business and you have to guess what it used to be. What do you think this was? Jude. Sears. Yes. That's not fair. You could see where the letters were. I was trying shush, to read it. Shush. <laughs> I could tell by the picture that it was a Sears. I was also going to guess Sears anyway. Nothing could look that bleak in the world. It's such an ugly looking building in the first place. Yeah. Did you guys know that in the original Sears catalogs, you could actually buy a house from <laughs> Sears and they would mail it to you. Can that fit in my mailbox? And it's just a USPS truck dragging a house down the road, sparks flying off the road the whole way there. Do I have room next to my current house to put my new house? <laughs> <laughs> No duplicate answers in a single category. So there's not going to be okay. any more Sears in American Dreams. They should have all been Sears. <laughs> Would have honestly been funny. Oh, well, you're doing this one because it lagged and I clicked on Google it. Google Wiki for five. Oh, my God. OK. Google Earth was called this name before it was acquired by Google in 2004. The infuriating thing is I actually used to know this answer. Now I can't remember what it was. It's hard. This was like an actually really hard question, which is why it was on 500. I. I give up. No one's going to buzz. No one's going to get 500 free dollars or V-Bucks, I mean. Dude, I'm already 400 in the hole. I can't make this worse for myself. Keyhole Earth viewer. <laughs> I was hoping it was Bing Earth, but you know, whatever. I don't think Bing was around in 2004. <laughs> Imagine being called Keyhole Earth Viewer. It was like mostly funded by the CIA too, <laughs> so only they could come up with a name that awful. Jude, it's your board. Uh, supermarket Sweep for $100. These are reviews of grocery stores or supermarkets, and you have to guess what the story is based on the review. <laughs> Someone left their cart in the parking lot. I was so happy because I didn't have a quarter. After I finished, I paid it forward. Oh, I know God. this one. I know this one. Can I phone a friend? No, this is Jeopardy, not Millionaire. I know a British guy who would know the answer to this. It's an American store. We should do a version of Millionaire with a million V-Bucks being the final prize. What is your answer? Is it Aldi? Yes, it is. Yeah. I've never been to an Aldi, so I didn't, I, I couldn't think. It's nothing special. I didn't think it was American 
because like the putting a quarter into the shopping cart thing is like, I know those filthy Brits out here putting them coins in the shopping carts. <laughs> Tea cuppy, it's your board. Uh, American dream for 200. What did this business used to be? Oh my God, that looks so familiar. Tea comfy. Staples. Dang it. Yeah. I almost said Circuit City, which dates <laughs> us so much. I hate it. It was really funny because I think ours turned into either a Radio Shack or a Best Buy, and then that one also went out of business. We're a little bit into the game now. Jude is at negative $400, and Woo! T Comfy is at $600. <laughs> yeah, I got that college dropout brain. <laughs> T Comfy, it is still your board. American Dream 4, 3. Hundred. All right. All right. What did this business used to be? Oh, that could be anything in the Midwest. <laughs> Jude, what's your answer? That looks like an old Kroger. This used to be a Kroger. Yeah. Why? Like I said, anywhere in the Midwest. Kroger's in my heart, dude. In the part of my heart I wish to claw out with a spoon, but that it's in my heart. Jude, it is your board. Um, review bomb for one hundred. Review bomb. Um, it can be a review of anything. Oh man. Tiffany was incredibly rude when I approached the counter to make an order. She said, "I'll let you know when I'm ready for you." Never smiled. She didn't care that we walked away. Horrible customer service. As much as they charge in Vegas for coffee, I could have at least gotten a smile. I'm tempted to delete my membership and not shop here again. Huh? Shop and coffee. So... And Vegas. Yeah, those are very all over the place. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be Vegas. It could be like an allegory to how expensive coffee is in Vegas. This was a review pulled from Las Vegas. Oh, never mind. I'm big braining it. It's not Starbucks. I don't think Starbucks memberships are a thing. I've never heard of one. They should be. Starbucks hit me up. I'm, I'm not an investor and I have never purchased an item from your company, but this one's $100. It's like really easy. It's a membership. So I'm going to just throw something out there. Uh, West Coast. So Costco. No. Okay. T Comfy, do you pass or? Uh, I haven't passed yet. If this ends up being Starbucks, I'm going to end my recording. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I, I, I'm just going to say Starbucks. I'm, I'm Starbucks. Oh, what? <laughs> they have a membership? Yeah, it's really well known. It's the Starbucks Stars. What? An entire currency. They have a membership for Starbucks? Bro, is, when is Starbucks going to have their own cryptocurrency? Um, They're looking into it unironically. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never once. In my guess which number it actually is, years on this earth, have I ever heard of a Starbucks membership program? Um, well, T, it is your board. Uh, American Dream for 400. Ooh. We're going to knock out this category fast. All right. <laughs> what did this business used to be? It's currently a spirit Halloween, but what did it used to be? Um, is it a Bed Bath & Beyond? Yes. No way! <laughs> I'm so good at this game! By the way, I found all these dead businesses businesses by looking for spirit Halloweens on Google and I would just use the street view like time travel thing to like get all the pictures. It's actually iconic. All right, T, it's your board. Let's let's wrap it up. Let's wrap the American dream up all nice and pretty. <laughs> what did this used to be? Huh? It's a pretty famous store. Um, tea Comfy. I was looking at the sign and I was originally going to say Logan's Roadhouse, but it's clearly that like a, a department huge. store. So um, you have to answer quickly. You buzzed in. Coles. Nope. Jude. I realize how wrong this is, but I'm going to say it anyway. Menards. No. Woo, negative 700. Now my goal is to just where is that? What is that? This was a Fry's Electronics. I've never heard of that. They're really famous for their really fancy and elaborate storefronts. Oh. Clearly not famous enough because I've never heard of them. I can see how they went out of business now. They were a national brand, though. In what nation? The United States of good old America. <laughs> I live in Costa Rica, Josiah. Come on. T's board. Uh, Google wiki for a hundred because I definitely won't Google the wiki. Creators like Ludwig and Rainbow popularized this game that uses Google Street View for the majority of its gameplay. Jude. Um, GeoGuessr. Yep. You gotta leave Wilbersoot off of the GeoGuessr <laughs> question, really? <laughs> Jude, it's your board. Oh, God. Uh, McDonald's World Tour for $100. All right, I'm going to show you a picture of a McDonald's location, and you have to guess what country it's in. Ew. For this one, you have to guess the state, because this is the only one in the United States. 
Florida. This is the world's biggest McDonald's located in Orlando, Florida. I know Florida when I see it. I used to live there. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been to this McDonald's and I didn't realize it was the world's biggest one when I was there, which is kind of funny. I mean, it's just a McDonald's. They just made it taller. All right, T, it is your turn. Uh, Google Wiki for 200. All right. Google Maps and the original Guitar Hero share this release year. Aww. Bruh. T? 2006. Nope. 2002? Nope. Cool. It was released in 2005. By Price is Right rules, Jude technically got it right. <laughs> yeah, Jude is currently at negative $800 and Woo! T is at 500 So neither of you made a, have made a ton of progress. I can almost replace the starter in my car. T, it is your board <laughs> still. Uh, fine dining for 400 Let me go back to my roots. Yeah, like 15 minutes ago, your roots. Yeah, and this is restaurant reviews. <laughs> Two stars, raw meat. It says rat meat. Raw rat meat. Yes. KFC. No. How? I don't know. I hate KFC as much as the next person. It's literally the KFC deep fried rat. That's literally a well-documented thing. I'm going to pass on this one. You're going to pass? Really? Dude, I'm at negative $800. Yeah, you're not going to recover anytime <laughs> soon. So what's the exactly. point? Exactly. This one was a Taco Bell. <laughs> Nice. I forgot the rules. Do we just keep it at T or do we move it to G? If he guessed and got it wrong, wouldn't it go to the, the next person? We'll follow those rules all of the sudden. Jude, it's your board. Review bomb for 200. I ordered pretzel bites and they never gave me my pretzel bites. I was really hungry and they were so expensive and I wanted them so bad. If I am going to pay $10 for pretzel bites, the least I could receive is the actual pretzel bites. I am upset. Do better. T. Auntie Anne's. No. Jude. <laughs> I was going to say Auntie Anne's, but... Um, Got to answer now? Yeah, but it's not like I had another answer. Well, you have to answer. You buzzed in. Okay, Auntie Anne's. That's what I... Yeah. No, it's an AMC theater. Ew, AMC sells pretzel bites? I wouldn't trust that at all. I mean, for $10 pretzel bites, I don't know why my go-to wasn't a theater, but... Um, you both lost that one, so Jude, it's still your board. Supermarkets for uh, 200 All right. Lovely restroom as usual. Five stars. T. Ikea. No, this is a soup. I guess they kind of sell food, but no. Uh, might as well get as negative as possible. Um, Meyer. No, this was a Trader Joe's. Um, and it's kind of obvious if you like look at them, employees must watch hand assigned. It is in like their actual like font. I've never been to a Trader Joe's. I've never even seen a Trader Joe's. Who did Joe betray? Jude is still your board. Awesome. Fine dining for $500. All right, we're going to go all in here. Make or break. Door, big metal door, very loud, big metal door, very heavy. <laughs> and loud big metal door. <laughs> this is a famous store. This is still fast food, right? Fast food, yep. Oh, oh my God. Um, if you've been on TikTok, you might have seen this one. I don't have TikTok. Well, L. I was so cocky at the beginning of this and now look at me. Look how the mighty fall. Very loud big metal door. Very <laughs> heavy and loud big metal door. It is a raisin cane. I never would have guessed that. This is the video, by the way. And that is the full address of the exact Raising Cane's if you um, feel like visiting it sometime. Ooh, a Mac. Ugh, Apple product, more like... I only have two MacBooks sitting next to me right now. You're seeing this. Judith is still your board. God, help me. Uh, $300 for review bomb. Okay, three stars. Are you? This could be any place. <laughs> Just okay. And you chose this one for the, the, the mid-level question. Oh, crap. This business owns a lot of businesses across the entire United States, so... There's no repeat offenders, right? Not in the same category. I'm already deep in the hole. Jude? I, I am once again going to guess Kroger because they own like 20 store chains and they are okay. Woo! See, guys, I'm winning because my number says nine and T Comfy says three. Yep, that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Jude, it's your board. McDonald's World Tour for $200. Where do you think this McDonald's is located? Oh, um. Interesting. I meant to actually write clues for these, but I forgot. Um, T, what is your guess? Russia. No. 
Bosnia. No, this was on Australia. It looks nothing like Australia. No, it doesn't, which is why it's funny. Why is the McDonald's not upside down? That's my question. Did you guys know that McDonald's used to have Bionicle toys? Really? They looked like this. Why do you just have one? Yeah, it's a little Heavy Beal Bionicle from like... I'm not surprised that you have that. Jude, it's still your board. Review bomb for 500. All right, you're skipping the four? Yep. Devastating. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you a hint for this one just to make it interesting. This is a place where the intention is for you to have a lot of fun. Hmm. You're supposed to have fun, and it is a chain, right? These are all chains. These are all national brands that like anybody could really recognize. Charles Entertainment Cheese. You didn't buzz in. I did buzz in. Yeah, nope, nope, you're wrong. How am I wrong? How are you at negative a thousand dollars? When did that happen? You're wrong. Uh, I'm gonna pass. This was Universal Studios in Florida. <laughs> yeah, that about sums up my experience at Universal Studios Florida. Like this video so we have enough money to go to Universal, and that's the only reason why. <laughs> All right, Jude is at currently at negative $1,100, and T is currently at negative $1,000. I got a slim lead. I got that slim lead. I passed because I knew I could keep a slim margin with you. We're not going to make it to Final Jeopardy at this rate. You're in a little less debt than me. I don't think you're going to be able to play it because you have no money to wager. That's how it works. If you're negative, you can't play Final Jeopardy. Shoot, it's your board. Uh, supermarket for 300. Okay, so four out of five, because on Sunday, you have to fight for your life to shop there. It looks like a huge game of Mario Kart, but everyone is a blue shell, and they are after you and mad. But nice watermelon section. Four stars. Who are you getting chased by in whatever store chain this is? T. Publix. Um, that is incorrect. Give me a second to hit no on your answer, because I'm trying to figure out what this was. So you don't know what it is, but you know it wasn't Publix. I had to double check my answer sheet. That's not it, though. I will once again pass. You're so lame and boring. Coward. So it's a Costco. I would have got it wrong then. <sighs> Wait, Costco has watermelons? Yes, Costco has groceries. Well, I know they have groceries, but I didn't know they have like produce. Um, Jude, it's your board. Google Wiki for 300. Even though it's banned locally, Google has detailed maps of this country, including transit lines and business locations. Hmm. T. China? Yes. Yeah! Back in it, baby! Yeah! Quote, unquote, back in it when you're at negative $1,000. <laughs> I'm still winning. It's all that matters. Uh, review bomb for 400 I wouldn't buy anything from the store or any other blank in the country again. Their employees don't know their heads from a hole in the ground. Pretty much everything in this store is close to pure junk. Hopefully you have a blank near you like they have in blank. That store not only cares about their customers, but they are professional and knowledgeable. Blank is no different than Chinese-owned Walmart junk. Oh, in the country, but they capitalized country, so I can't tell. It's American. Because they said no different than Chinese-owned Walmart. That is a very American thing to say. Right. I start thinking junk stores. As someone who lives in uh, rural South, kind of, um, would this be relevant to me? Yes, you go to the store occasionally. I would want to, I almost want to say Dollar Tree. Blank doesn't look like it would be a Dollar General. Jude. I'm gonna go ahead and say Dollar General. Nope. T. And then I guess I'll just say Dollar Tree. No, this was a Best Buy. What? <laughs> Bro, that's not even a rural thing. You have to go to a place to get to one. Yeah, I, I said it's a store you go to occasionally. Columbus, Ohio? Bruh. Jude, it's your board. All right, uh, McDonald's for 300. This is a combination KFC McDonald's. Oh, uh, I've never heard of that because they're not even known by the like- France. No. Uh, Quebec. No, this was in the Netherlands. Gross, who lives in the Netherlands? Why is there French on the building then? Well, because the Netherlands, okay. Negative 1,800 on Jude and negative 1,700. Why are you so close constantly? Uh, Cause we're both really good at this. Yeah, you're so good. I'm winning, my number is higher. That means I'm stealing $1,800 from you, Josiah. Get v bucks. Um, sorry, 1,800 V currency. That's almost two battle passes. That would have been nice to know up front. Maybe I would have guessed a little better. Yeah, we're, we're, we're screwed, dude. <laughs>
uh, Google for 400 This app for the Wii U is powered by Google Street View and allowed you to take virtual walks using the balance board. I didn't even consider buying a Wii U, much less have one. Micah and Bren would both know this one, probably. Too bad neither of them could show up, even though one of them was not invited. I like to think that Micah was invited. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm not even going to answer this now. This one is really obvious. It's such a stupid name. Just think of like what Nintendo was naming everything at the time, and you could probably just guess it. I swear to God, if it's like walk you, I'm going <laughs> to die. It's not that. Oh, but... If you didn't say anything, I was going to guess that right now. T, are you Googling something right now? I have my house key in one hand, I have a bionicle in the other hand. I was trying to make <laughs> him hold it. I promise that's all I was doing. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, you're going to get sympathy money so that you can both play the final round. It doesn't make me feel any better. I'm going to go, uh, you walk. <laughs> no. Dang it. <laughs> we street you. <laughs> What an ignorant name. <laughs> yeah, it's like Street View, but instead of View, it's you, but it sounds the same. So it's Street, Street View. <laughs> That's pretty good. Dude, it's... Oh, wait, no, T, it's your turn, finally. Oh, hey, let's go. You get the board because Ju got an incorrect guess. Yeah, you have like two options. Have fun. McDonald's World Tour for four because we're really good at that one, apparently. <laughs> yes. Where is this McDonald's at? I don't know what language that is. People commonly ask... Oh, shoot. France. <laughs> no. Okay. People who commonly ask musicians to go to this country. Oh, I should have waited for the hint. I know that immediately. Yeah, I'm trying to be um, gracious to you two. T. Brazil? Yes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's pulled ahead. I must stop you. If I get every answer right, I'll have $100. <laughs> so good at this. McDonald's World Tour for the big 5-0. Where's this located at? What is that? Um. Why is that like the fascist Germany bird on top of it? What is that? Oh, man. Uh, I'm looking at the, at the text on the door and on the building. Yeah, it's not very high resolution, and that is on purpose. It's not in German. That's what matters to me. It is a European country. I'll give you guys that one. I can tell it's a European country because it's a CIA on the other side of that building there. Oh. Dang it. Italy? No. Oh, okay. Well, boys, there goes the dream. Croatia. <laughs> oh, this was in Portugal. I was close. Ew. So obvious, you know. Um, T. Supermarket sweep for four, I guess. All right. <laughs> Ooh. This one. Okay. Please allow me. Allow me. Free food for dad. I don't know how long it will so get me to funny, do that. Lol. I is, do you have to go home? And I have no Robux for you like that one time to get a family. I just slowly had a headache get worse throughout that entire thing. I don't even know. Why did they post 18 pictures? <laughs> Those pictures are really going to help you know what business this is. Yeah, there's like a small animal. I don't even begin to know what that's supposed to be. The person that would type this was four, and they don't go to any stores. <laughs> <laughs> they go to the Fortnite eShop. <laughs> they use code TCOMFY in the Epic Games Store. Yeah, actually do that. I have an Epic Creator code. Actually do that. <laughs> The only person I can think of that would write something this incoherent as a Walmart customer? Yes. <laughs> Victory is assured. Minus $2,700. I am good at this. Um, I'm going to put Jude at 600 and T at 1,000. That is way closer than it should be. I don't know if it automatically goes to the final Jeopardy or not. Well, no one really has a choice, so I'm just going to click on um, Supermarket Sweep for 500. Uh, supermarket, supermarket Sweep, sweep for, for 500. 500. This has been my local grocery store for eight years, so please don't take it lightly when I say this place is literally hell on earth. I've never not once had a good experience here. Grab your own cart in the parking lot because there will be none inside. Then prepare to wade through dirty aisles with stacked pallets of loose groceries trying to find something that's inevitably out of stock. It's like blank has forgotten that this store exists entirely. T. Sam's Club? No. I just showed an have answered. Yeah, I'm a pass. This was a Kroger. What? Didn't we already have Kroger in this? One? Not in Supermarket Sweep, no. That's Kroger's third appearance in this game. That's amazing. Hey, y'all y'all really like Kroger or something. That, I was going to say that sounds just like a Kroger. It's local. Everything's out of stock. It's crap. I love Kroger. <laughs> I, I had to make sure I got a lot of Kroger in there because the YouTube comments have noticed that we bring that company up a lot. You're quote unquote tied now, so let's move on to final jipper or ID. We're not even tied. I'm winning <laughs> somehow. You get less money. You're tied now. It's tied, so we actually have to wager, bro. What? All right, I'm 
I'm ready. Be in the category American Dream. I should have told you that before you wager. Oh. What was this business? You have 60 seconds. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we have to type it in? Yes. Yeah, it's Final Jeopardy. And it's on a timer. Jude's locked in. Locked in hell is where I'm locked in. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't think it's right, but it could be. All right, Jude, you said big lots. Do you want to explain your answer at all? Blank, boring looking building. And that's all I had in mind. All right, well, you were close, but that was not the correct answer. Darn. T. You answered to Target question mark. What is your explanation for that? Target is the only store I've ever seen that has the entrance and the exit laid out like that. Plus the little stickers on the floor tell me that this place went out of business during COVID. I'm not sure how a Target goes out of business during COVID. You are also incorrect. This was a big Kmart. Bruh, I was really close. Okay. Yeah, you nice. were really, really close. So let's continue and see who won. Jude won. Oh. Oh, you bet what 326? Yeah, so you um, are gonna get 174 V bucks. I'll take my dollar. No, you get one V buck, which is about one cent. Before you give me that V buck, you better use code T Comfy so I get one real dollar. And also um, follow him on Twitch or YouTube, either one. And Twitter. I love my Twitter account. YouTube comments. Tell me what game shows I should rip off and force my friends to play next. Have a day.